Tonight, election officials push back against rumors of voters being intimidated at ballot drop-off locations in Denver. Those claims have been spreading as Colorado is now on pace for a record voter turnout. More than 300,000 ballots have been cast already in Colorado. That is 24 times the number returned at this point back in 2016. Democrats have turned in 139,000 ballots. Independents have returned 100,000 and 57,000 Republicans have already voted. Many voters are dropping off their ballots in boxes across the state. And lately, social media has been busy with reports of voter intimidation at some locations. But you should know, there is no evidence to back up those claims. Karen Morfa taking a closer look tonight. Karen, more proof, I guess, we shouldn't always believe what we see on social media. Exactly, Jim. Any type of voter interference or voter intimidation is against the law here in Colorado, and there are nearly 40 ballot boxes in Denver alone, all of them with 24-hour surveillance. When it comes to dropping off this year's ballot, voters are excited. The moment I got it, I was excited to vote. I uh, went through it very carefully. Chad Henderson has come to this box outside the Denver elections office for years. But this time, he says there was more to think about. Well, I was actually a little bit concerned coming here, but uh, it's totally fine and uh, safe. On social media, posts like this claiming men in tactical gear were guarding different drop-off boxes have been spreading. Denver Elections Director Jocelyn Beccaro says they immediately started investigating. We looked at the 24-hour video surveillance that we have on all of our ballot boxes, and we did not see anything on the cameras. She says there's areas around those boxes that cameras may not reach, but follow-ups with police have also come up empty. Anytime we get those reports, it's really helpful if we know as close to real time as possible because that's when we can actually do something about it. The boxes themselves are bolted to the ground and have protections to keep ballots safe with teams clearing boxes multiple times a day with different layers of security. Everyone should feel safe and proud to walk to wherever they're going and place their ballot. Those cameras have, however, caught a lot of other activity that is far from criminal. Officials here in Denver say you can find official ballot boxes online on their website. They also say most of the reports that they've received have come secondhand. If you yourself has experienced some sort of voter intimidation, they'd like to hear from you. In fact, they encourage everyone to report incidents of possible intimidation as soon as possible so they can get police to those locations as quickly as possible. And you can do so by dialing 311, option 8. We have all that information online at cbsdenver.com. For now, we're live in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.